Okay, here's the next one. Solve the triangle. This is another one uh, that would be, this is an angle side angle uh, situation. Uh, so first thing you want to do is find the missing angle that's here. So we're going to find angle C. We have to use that because we need to know our given ratio when we do the law of sine. So we have to have a, an angle opposite a given side. So we want to first find out what that one is. You're going to do 180 minus 35 minus 15. And if we do that, you're going to be left with 130. So 130 would be the angle that's right there. So we just subtract them and all the sum of all the angles in the triangle up to 180. That's why we're subtracting from uh, 180 here. Now that we have this, this is important because we can set up our given ratio. We're going to do uh, sine 130 over 5. That's her. You always want to begin with a, a, a side opposite the given angle. We have it. We have that one. Now we're going to set this equal to whatever side that we're trying to solve for next. So um, depending on which one you're trying to solve for, we're going to use a different angle. Uh, let's suppose we want to solve for A first. Well, since we're going to solve for A, we need to find the, we need to use the 35 degrees because that would be opposite A, which is right here. That's lowercase a, and this is going to be the lowercase uh, b right there. So we're going to do sine of 35 degrees over A. We're, try we're going to use that one because, again, that's the angle across from the side we're trying to solve for. Now that we have this, we're going to cross multiply once again and solve for it. You're going to get A sine 130 will equal 5 sine 35. We're going to solve for A and you get 5 sine 35 degrees divided by sine 130. And if you put that into the calculator, you should get 3.74 and that's going to be our value uh, for A. So again, you might want to check this out later on your calculator to make sure. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode and you can verify it's going to be 3.74. So that's going to go uh, right here. Now that we have that one, we need to use another ratio in order to solve for B. So we've done all that already. We're going to still start with sine 130 over 5. That's our given ratio. But this time, if you want to solve for B, you want to use 15 degrees because that's the angle opposite the side you're trying to solve for. So we're going to do sine of 15 degrees uh, over B, which is what we're solving for next. We're going to cross multiply, do the same thing again, uh, and you're going to get B sine 130 is going to equal 5 sine 15 degrees, divide both sides by sine 130, and you get 5 sine 15 degrees divided by sine 130. So if you put this into the calculator, you're going to get 1.69 uh, as your answer. So again, you always want to verify to make sure that you know how to put that into your calculator, but that's the value that you should get here. So 1.69 is going to be uh, side B. We've solved the triangle because we found all the missing information, we found the missing angle, and we found the two sides. So, the, so basically the first two examples I've done so far with, with these videos, I've done one where I have two angles that are given and we're, we're solving for a third angle and two sides. The next couple of examples that, you're gonna, that we're going to be looking at in this section are now going to be dealing with the other case where you have uh, one angle given and two sides.